If you are a proud owner of a petrol lens like this one, and you are missing the water stops or only have one, then you found the right tutorial today. I do this as an example for my Dalmayr 2B and 3B lenses. If you don't want to build them by yourself, you can get them from me too, just check this link here. You will find there also gear I don't need anymore like cameras and lenses. Underneath you will find also links to a high-end version of Waterhouse Stops and a link to Thingverse for another Waterhouse Stop project. Let's start with scenario 1 where you have an existing Waterhouse Stop. Then you have to measure the length of the Waterhouse Stop and the diameter of the inner circle. Lots of original Waterhouse Stops do have this 45 degree chamfer. More about it later then. Because you only have one waterhouse stop, you have to calculate the missing f-stops. In this case, it's a 290mm Dalmeyer 3B lens. For that you just use the focal length of 290mm and divide it by the f-stop you want to create. As you can see, the original waterhouse stop has an odd value of f4.8, of but we will create the other ones like they are supposed to be. Scan your waterhouse stop and open it in your favorite image processing software. For this project I will use Affinity Photo. The value of this software is great and you pay only one time for it. In Affinity Photo use the selection brush tool and afterwards the refine button to create a precise selection of the waterhouse stop. After you are happy with your selection just paint the whole waterhouse stop black. Now I create a new document in Affinity Designer. You can use Affinity Photo for that too. The new document size is the exact length I measured before. Here I added one more millimeter because I measured at the wrong place before. Now you input your black waterhouse stop into the new document and adjust its size to match the length of the document. After that you create a white circles in the size of the calculated f-stops. Be sure to center the new circle with the existing one. As a bonus, I added a f-stop number to the water stop here. After that, you vectorize your image to a SVG file. I use Image Vectorizer for that, a makeup for 5 euros. As far as I know, it's also available for Windows. Or you use an online tool for that. And yes, I could have used Affinity Designer to export SVG files, but not everybody has this software, so I showed you guys another way to do it. So for scenario 2, where you don't have an existing waterhouse stop, just try to find somebody who has one and can trace it for you. It's important that you get also all the measurements for that. In my case, Lisa sent me this beautiful trace. Thanks a lot for that. Check out her Instagram here and I will write down her website in the description. You found some beautiful portraits there. Thanks so much again for sending this over, Lisa. With the traces you do pretty the same as I did with my scan. Process it like before. I did a little twist here and use the handwritten f-stops of Lisa in the water stops. Because I like this kind of personal touch in it. Now you could just print it and cut it out from a cardboard and paint it black and you are done. I want to 3D print them, that's why I convert them first into a SVG file. For that I import the SVG file into the Morphe app. That's a pretty cool, very easy and inexpensive app to create 3D images. After importing the image I resized it to the right size. And now I could just export it for 3D printing, as easy as that. But there's one more thing, I wanted to create the 45 degree chamfer as the original waterhouse stop had. For that I created a cone, placed it in the center of my f-stop and increased the size until it cuts into the f-stop. I changed the height to half of the diameter of the cone to create a 90 degree angle. That makes a 45 degree angle on the f-stop opening. At the end I used the subtract button. And boom, there it is, as easy as that. Now I open the water stops into my slicer. I really like to use Idea Maker for that because it's very easy to use. In Idea Maker I use the sequential printing, so each water stop is created at once instead of printing all of them at the same time. And then I start printing it. After printing I cut off the brim and sent paper the water stops.
After that I wash them and paint them black. Now they are ready to use. As I said before, if you don't want to build them by yourself, check out this link here and I'll make them for you. At the end there's one more thing. You know I like to tidy up things, so I made a carrying box for them. I like how this turned out, what do you guys think? Thanks so much for watching guys, hit like and subscribe if you liked it and activate the bell icon for getting notified when I bring the next project online and as always guys, I'll be back!